Alright guys, so in this video, we're going to be solving this problem, which says we should find the smallest integer a greater than 2, such that 2 divides a, 3 divides a plus 1, 4 divides a plus 2, 5 divides a plus 3, and lastly, 6 divides a plus 4. So, you should know that if n divides a minus b, this implies that a is congruent to b mod n. Now. If I have to divide a, this implies that a is congruent to 0 mod 2. 3 divide a plus 1 implies that a is congruent to minus 1 mod 3. 4 divides a plus 2 implies that a is congruent to minus 2 mod 4. 5 divides a plus 3 implies that a is congruent to minus 3 mod 5. And lastly, 6 divides a plus 4 implies that a is congruent to minus 4 mod 6. So another thing I need to know is that if a is congruent to b mod n, this implies that a is going to be congruent to b plus n mod n. So basically, if we have a is congruent to 0 mod 2, it implies that a is congruent to 2 mod 2. And if we have a is congruent to minus 1 mod 3, it implies that a is congruent to 2 mod 3. Also, if we have that a is congruent to minus 2 mod 4, it implies that a is congruent to 2 mod 4. a is congruent to minus 3 mod 5 implies that a is congruent to 2 mod 5 and lastly a is congruent to minus 4 mod 6 implies that a is congruent to 2 mod 6 now what this means is that a is congruent to 2 mod 2 3 4 5 and 6 now, we have a is congruent to b mod n, means that n divides a minus b. So if a is congruent to 2 mod 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, this implies that 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 divides a minus 2. Now, for each of this number to divide a minus 2, it means that a minus 2 must be a common multiple of all of them. Now, from the definition of LCM, the least common multiple, the least common multiple of these numbers must also divide the common multiple that they have. So this implies that LCM 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 must divide a minus 2. Now the LCM of 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 is 60. So this implies that 60 divides A minus 2. Now if A divides B, this implies that B is equal to A key. For K is an integer. Now 60 divides A minus 2 implies that A minus 2 is equal to 60k. k is an integer. This means that a is equal to 60k plus 2. So we have that a is equal to 60k plus 2. And now from our question, we say that a is greater than 2. 
So this implies that 60k plus 2 must be greater than 2. Implies that 60k must be greater than. Moving to the, to the other side, we have 2 minus 2, which implies that 60k must be greater than 0. Dividing both sides by 60, we have that k must be greater than 0. But now remember that k is an integer. And then the next integer number after 0 is 1. So that means the smallest integer of a will occur at k equal to 1. That means a will be equal to 60 into 1 plus 2. Which implies that a will be equal to 62. So the smallest integer a greater than 2 such that 2 divides a, 3 divides a plus 1, 4 divides a plus 2, 5 divides a plus 3, and 6 divides a plus 4 is 62. Now, 2 divides a means 2 divides 62, which is correct. 3 divides a plus 1 means 3 divides 63, which is also correct. 4 divides a plus 2 means 4 divides 64, which is true. 5 divides a plus 3 means 5 divides 65, which is true. 6 divides a plus 4 means that 6 divides 66. So you can see that the smallest integer is 62. So thank you for watching and help me like and share this video with people that you know that will find this useful. You can also help me by subscribing to my channel and turning on post notifications so you will know when I post new videos. Thank you and have a nice day.